Hello everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. And I first and foremost want to apologize to everyone for the delay on the release of this video announcing the winner for week seven for the um, J. Well Along 2022. I have just had so many things going on um, with my house and then, you know, some family things going on. So I apologize, but um, I put a community post up just letting everyone know this video is going to be a little bit delayed. Um, so hopefully everyone understands. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be giving you a post review of my Josephine Wall canvas that I have completed for the event. And then I will announce the week seven winner. Um, so this is Spirit of the Ocean by Josephine Wall, obviously. This is from Uniquely Yours Down Under, and it is an 80 by 60 centimeter. Uh, there are 50 colors in it. Uh, there are no ABs because when I ordered this canvas, I don't even remember when I ordered it, but at the time when you ordered a soft lint canvas, there were no ABs um, available as an option when you ordered a soft lint canvas. Um, so... Yes, no ABs, but I did replace three colors with sparklers, and I'll go over that um, in a little bit. So I started this canvas on March the 1st at the start of the event, and I finished it on April the 16th. So a little, you know, a month and a half, which for me and everything going on in my life right now, I think that's pretty darn good. <laughs> uh, the fact that I even completed it in April is amazing to me, so... Um, yes. All right. We're going to go over the pros of the canvas and then the cons. Um, I had, you know, some good and some not so good experiences with it. And of course, I want to be 100% honest with all of you about my experience. And I also would like um, anyone watching this to please let me know in the comments below if you have experienced any of the same uh, things I have um, or what your experience was with Uniquely Yours Down Under. So... Okay, the pros. The first pro, I have no creases in this canvas because it is a soft lint canvas. It's very, you know, you can bend it very easily. It's like working with cloth. Um, so that is really nice. Uh, there were no creases in it. Didn't have to worry about that. Um, the canvas for the majority of it, I say about 90% of the canvas was very sticky. Um, haven't lost any drills. And I had very minimal trash, so let me show you. I'm using my Patriotic Team uh, resin holder, so cute. Um, that is all the trash that I had in this canvas, which this is a really big canvas, so the fact that there was only that amount of trash, that's pretty impressive to me. Um, any canvas you get, you're going to have some trash. Um, that's just, you know, a part of diamond painting. So very minimal trash. Um, the edges of the canvas are scalloped, so you're not going to get any fraying. I've had no fraying on this canvas because of the um, scalloped edges. Um, I did go ahead and put washi tape all the way around the canvas uh, for the reason, I'll get into that, but there is washi tape around that. So that's a positive scalloped edges, so no fraying. Um, the majority of the symbols were clear and concise, and I could tell what they were. Um, I did use a light pad because my eyesight is pretty, pretty not fresh. <laughs> um, so yeah, the majority of the symbols were clear. Um, I like the fact there is a key code on both the right side and on the left side. So that way, no matter where you're working on the canvas, you do have a key code for reference. I do like that. I consider that a pro. Um, let's see. And then the artist and the size of the canvas are on the top. I always feel like diamond painting companies that license artwork should always have the artist's name on the canvas to give them, you know, credit for their artwork. Um, I think that's very important. So I really appreciate the fact that Uniquely Your Stone Under did that. And they also put the title of the um, canvas up there. So, yes. Okay, so those were the pros. Now we're gonna get into the cons. And, um, you know, these, before we get into the cons, I just wanna say, this is my personal experience and my personal opinion. Um, not everybody's going to have the same experience and, 
I just want to put it out there. This is just my personal experience and opinion. So don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> um, okay, in my personal opinion, the amount of confetti in this canvas was maddening. Um, I literally had to get up and walk away numerous times because I was changing colors like Oh my gosh, like every five minutes I was having to change colors. Um, so for me personally, it's very frustrating, whereas I prefer more of a balance between color blocking and confetti. But on the flip side of this, for this particular diamond painting, because the image is more of a far away image and there's such small details like the waves and the ship, and you know, the dolphins, um, it needed to have confetti so you could tell what it, you know, what these things are. Um, so I understand that and I understand that for this particular canvas, there needed to be confetti, um, you know, to bring that detail um, out in the um, artwork. So I understand it, it's just for me personally, having a canvas that's all confetti is just, it's, it's not fun for me, not fun for me, I'll be really honest. Um, the end result was great. Um, I will say when I first got this canvas, I was very nervous. I even talked to a friend of mine and showed it to her, um, you know, before I even started the canvas, I took a picture of it and even she was like, what is that? I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so I was very nervous because before I put drills down, I couldn't really tell what you know, what things were in the canvas. But with the drills down and from a distance, it looks wonderful. So, um, yes. Okay, now here we're getting into um, the colors. I ran out of two colors, okay? I ran out of 209 and 3830. 209 is a purple and 3830 is like a, it's like a terracotta color. Um, I did run out of those and I had to pull from another kit, um, a finish kit, I did have some spares. Um, so I did run out of those two colors. That is the first time in my, however long I've been diamond painting, um, three years. That is the first time in three years I have run out of drills, believe it or not. Um, yeah, so that was, that was just upsetting to me personally because, you know, I was on the streak of, I've never run out of drills, this is great. Oh crap. <laughs> There goes my, my winning streak there. Um, okay, and then these are the drills that, again, in my opinion, ran too low and was making me very anxious. So all of these, um, 553, which is a purple, uh, 613, uh, 680, that one got, got low, yeah. Um, 729. And then this one, that's the one that made me the most nervous, 3350. I think I only had like, you know, 10, 11 drills in there. So um, I did run low on five drill uh, colors. So, um, and again, I'm going to email Uniquely Yours Down Under and now that I've finished the canvas and, you know, politely and, and you know, in a nice way, just tell them my experience that I ran out of two colors and these, these colors are too low in my personal opinion um, and a couple of other things that we'll go over um, okay so I'm looking at my notes I'm sorry okay there were a few areas of the canvas um, and this is the first time I've experienced this as well I've heard a lot of people talk about they've had canvases that that you know didn't have areas that were sticky um, I ran into that issue in this canvas there were three places um, there was, I think it was up here and then over here. And then I think it was somewhere down in the bottom. Um, the canvas, just like in a small area, just like really small, like this big, it just wasn't sticky. Um, the drills weren't sticking. So what I did, um, I just took clear fingernail polish <laughs> and, and put it on the part of the canvas that wasn't sticky and then put my drills down. Um, and doing that, I will say, you want to use um, just a, a basic uh, diamond painting pen that like comes in a toolkit. So that way, if you get fingernail polish on it, no big deal. You can just, you know, change the tip out, whatever, toss it. Um, so yeah, there were three areas of the canvas that were not sticky at all. Like I couldn't get anything to stick to it. So I used clear fingernail polish and it worked 
perfectly fine. Um, so overall, I would say, you know, yes, I would recommend purchasing a canvas from Uniquely Yours Down Under. This was the first canvas I had actually worked on from Uniquely Yours Down Under. I do have another one that's a custom that I had ordered last year for uh, Summer with the Masters. And I'm going to work on that this year. So I'm hoping, you know, I'm kind of hoping I don't run into those same issues with that custom because um, I think that's going to be harder to get, um, you know, drills for and things like that because it is a custom. Um, I could be wrong, but, but yes, overall, um, I highly recommend um, this company for the reasons that one, they offer licensed artwork. Uh, two, um, the customer service has been phenomenal for me. Um, whenever I've reached out to Jennifer, uh, she's very responsive to me and gets back to me, um, you know, within a, a relatively um, good amount of time. Um, now, I do either email her or I message her on Instagram. Um, and Instagram seems to get a faster response. But there is a giant time difference between me and where, you know, Uniquely or Down Under is located in Australia. So I have to take that into account as well. Um, but yes, overall, I'd say this is a gorgeous diamond painting. Um, all of the Josephine Wall uh, canvases that I've seen on their website, um, they look amazing. I don't know how they're going to look finished, but I would definitely um, purchase another Josephine Wall to do for this event next year, um, which yes, I'm going to do this event next year. I've had a lot of people <laughs> ask me about that. So yes, I plan to do this event next year. Um, that's the plan anyway for right now. So that is my experience. Um, oh yeah, the sparklers. Let me move that out of the way. I'll just put that down here. So for sparklers, let me just show you the ones that I replaced. Okay, so the biggest one that you're going to see, the most noticeable, are the dark blue sparklers over here. Um, you can see it when I move the canvas. Um, there are a lot of them through here. I absolutely love, they're called metallic blue sparklers, and I got these from, of course, um, DP with sparklers. So I replaced 336 with um, the metallic blue sparklers. So that was the first color that I replaced. Come on, camera. You got this shit, right? It doesn't like it when I go up and then come back down. Okay. And then the next one I replaced was 704 which is it's like a lime green and I used a like light green sparkler um, and this was actually 704 was the DMC code for the sparkler so that it matched this one um, and there was just not very many in the 704 color it's basically um, throughout the mermaid let's see if I can oh camera um, I don't know if I can, you can see right here, right there, these, uh, lighter colors here. Yeah. And then the last color was the yellow, which was seven, four, five. And there were not very many. I mean, as you can see, there were only that many in the entire canvas of seven, four, five. And I um, replaced that yellow with daffodil sparklers. I know, sorry. With daffodil sparklers, which are really pretty yellow. Highly recommend um, if you're looking for a yellow um, to, a sparkler to go with the daffodil. Um, and the daffodil, what I did is the outline of the mermaid. Um, you probably can't see it. And I really, I can't move my camera very much right now. Um, but it's basically the outline of the mermaid up here around her face. Um, anywhere you see um, yellow as far as an outline. Um, I have so much cat hair on this canvas, you guys. <laughs> anyway, so those were the three um, colors that I replaced with sparklers. And I love sparklers. Highly recommend um, getting some if you haven't. I will have the link for... Um, DP with sparklers in the description. Definitely check out, uh, check them out. They're great. Um, I always go overboard when I order sparklers. I, I'm like, I only need like three colors and then I end up getting like, you know, 10, 12. <laughs> so yes. So that was my experience with Uniquely or Sound Under. Please let me know down below 
what um, your thought. Oh, wait, there was one more con. Wait. Right. I missed, I missed one. Okay. Right. One more con. Um, there were two colors. Um, two colors. I'll show you down here. So where I had, where I have the two X's, uh, 935 and 3051. Okay. They're, they were both green, green colored symbols. Um, and I am going to insert a photo here of the canvas while I was working on it so that you can see, um, the struggle that I had. The colors were way too close together. Um, they both look like the same color. So I had a really hard time with those two colors trying to decipher. Um, and the symbols were close together because if you notice, and I really think that should change. If you notice one was a slanted line and then this one was almost an arrow, but it also had a slant to it. So for me personally, it was really difficult to tell the difference. Um, of these two colors. It was very frustrating. <laughs> so yeah, um, and I'll, I'll sh that picture, I put that picture up showing you, um, showing that to you. Okay, so that, that's, I think that's everything I've gone over. If you have any questions, comments about this canvas or, you know, about Uniquely or Down Under, please feel free to put them down in the comments below and I'll, I'll answer them the best that I can. Um, or if I don't know the answer, I will, you know, try to reach out and find the answer for you. But please let me know your experience if you've used this company, what you think, as far as, you know, anything really. Quality, customer service, all of that. So, but yes, I would recommend purchasing from Uniquely or Down Under. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the winner for week seven, uh, which is going to get a beautiful... Uh, Lazy River wood turning pen. Yes, isn't that pretty? It's got all the pretty pastel colors in it. The yellow, the blue, the pink, the purple. So pretty, so pretty. Oh my gosh. So you're going to get a Lazy River pen and then you're also going to get a beautiful mermaid cover minder from Coverminder Saban. And she was so thoughtful to send me a mermaid cover minder as a giveaway. Um, she sent quite a few actually. Um, but this one is just it's pretty perfect considering the canvas that I'm working on. And a lot of Josephine Wall's artwork has, um, you know, ocean related, um, ocean related things. So there you have it. So the winner for week seven for the Lazy River uh, pen and the Mermaid cover minder is Patty Y. And I will insert the winner here. And then I will also insert here the image of the um, artwork, the canvas that she is working on, which is, I never get this right, is it titanium and Oberon? Titanium, I don't, something in Oberon, I can never pronounce that right. Um, it is from Diamond Art Club, it is beautiful. Um, so she is working on that for the event. So congratulations to Patty Y on winning these two items. And of course, all of the items are going to be shipped out to the winners at the end of the event, which is actually next week. Um, so please stay tuned. Um, Sunday's whip and chat will be for week eight. So that's going to be the last week of the event. I'm kind of sad. I've really had fun with this event and looking at everyone's progress photos and, you know, just seeing how many people, you know, wanted to participate in this event. It's just been Awesome. Awesome. So again, thank you to everyone who joined in and a huge heartfelt thank you uh, to all of the wonderful sponsors of this event. Um, I really couldn't have, you know, done a lot of this without, you know, all of you. So thank you again. So that is what I have for you today. Again, my apologies for this video being late. Just lots of, lots of personal stuff going on, but yes. I got it. I got it up there before uh, Sunday. So that was, that was the key thing. So, all right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you again very soon.